Welcome back to Sportsbook Review Videos. Believe it or not, we are 11 weeks away from the start of the NFL regular season. Basketball is done in the midst of their offseason, and football is right around the corner. As of course, training camp and preseason coming up even sooner than that. And I am here to give you my three live underdogs for the 2016 season. All three of these dog bets, I think, could have some potential to cash you a winning ticket towards the end of the year. And we'll start it off with the Kansas City Chiefs to win... The AFC West at 2-1. Now, obviously, kind of a softer underdog, not too much of an underdog, but the Denver Broncos are the favorites to win the AFC West this season. And at 2-1, Kansas City is not a bad play. Considering last year they got 11 wins and missed just Justin Houston and Jamal Charles for uh, most of the year, if you combine the two. So if I think about it, I think the Kansas City Chiefs could, in fact, be the time to take over this division after the Denver Broncos, of course, lost the Sheriff. Now are dealing with a, uh, a questionable quarterback tandem, to say the least. I think the Kansas City Chiefs, even though it's a small one, they could be good enough on offense with Travis Kelsey and uh, Jeremy Macklin and Jamal Charles coming back to win this division. 2-1, to one, not bad odds for it here. At all. Next up, the Arizona Cardinals to win the NFC. That's right, it's six to one. It's not a bad play at all, and it's probably my best future odds play at this point in the offseason. Obviously, very early and still uh, developing on those at this point, but. They do play in the same division as the Seattle Seahawks, but this is a 13-win team that was one win away from getting to the Super Bowl and winning the NFC just last year with a 13-win team. Of course, they got destroyed in the NFC Championship game against the Carolina Panthers, but this year, bringing back an extremely good defense and, of course, an offense that could be as potent as ever with a deep running back core and very good receivers as well as as, uh, as well on the outside. So uh, Carson Palmer, as long as he doesn't uh, you know really shit the bed in the uh, playoffs this uh, season, which I'm sure the Carolina uh, the uh, Cardinals are going to get there. I think they could be, once again, a uh, first-round buy team in the NFC this year. That would go a long way in getting them to the NFC title game at 6-1 to one to win it. Now, finally, my big long shot of the uh, of the offseason, my big underdog here, I think could be the Pittsburgh Steelers to win it all at 11-1. to one. You're looking at an offense that could be the best unit in the NFL Easily scored 51 touchdowns last year. They could score even more this year with Le'Veon Bell coming back, bringing back all the components of that deadly offense as well. 11-1, obviously pretty good because the Cincinnati Bengals are very good as well. This Steelers team might not even win their division like they did last year. I think they were 10-6 last year, lost, of course, to the uh, – uh, Cincinnati Bengals, but outside of that, the AFC is open, I think, uh, outside of the New England Patriots, who seem to be the favorite. The Pittsburgh Steelers could be the next best team in this conference, and I think they have a pathway with their with their schedule, especially because they're playing the NFC East. I think could end up giving them the advantage, maybe getting them a first-round bye in the uh, AFC. All they have to do is win two games to get the Super Bowl in that instance, and I think 11-1, to probably a pretty good play on them, considering I think they're going to be a 12- or 13-win team this season. So, there you have it. There are your big underdogs, live underdogs heading into the 2016 season. We, of course, will be spending the next 11 weeks and beyond covering the NFL. But make sure you check out all of our NBA offseason coverage and, of course, our MLB odds couple show as well as our picks on that side of the site as well. Best of luck to you on all your future odds and MLB betting this summer. But until then, for Sportsbook Review, I'm Jordan Sharp. Always on the go? Bet365 has one of the top mobile platforms in today's market. Sign up today and don't let your busy life keep you out of the game.